Stanford Health Policy really has a strong focus on meaty domestic health policy issues and increasingly on health equity also. If you care about health equity, you're concerned about that not just within the United States, you're concerned about inequitable health across different countries and within other countries as well. We've certainly learned with COVID, but has actually always been the case that we live in an interconnected world. Uh, we have people that arrive to this country every day from a wide number of different countries. We travel ourselves to other countries. We work in other countries. We move to other countries. And so the flows of people are reciprocal. So our health is really intimately intertwined with health in other countries. And so both for reasons of trying to protect uh, and promote health in an interconnected world, global health is important. And frankly, if you really care about working where some of the needs are the greatest, then trying to find ways that we can collaborate and contribute in places where basic needs are overwhelmingly strong just really seems like a compelling thing that we can't turn our back on. So now we live in a world that we cannot ignore something happening in a very remote place and thinking is not our problem because it could potentially become our problem. If one is really interested in public health, one has probably already been closely engaged in work related to environmental health. Some of the biggest population health risks, if you take a global perspective, have to do with clean water, sanitation, clean air. These are fundamental factors that really lead to a substantial amount of premature death around the world. Those factors are ones that are changing very rapidly with a changing climate. Those factors therefore bring a lot of people who already have uh, a long background in working on environmental health right to the fore and issues related to climate change. It's difficult to understate the different ways in which climate change is having a profound impact on human health, on population health. One really clear example works through nutrition. If you care about population health, you can't escape a focus on nutrition. If you look at the statistics, at the underlying root causes of some of the most important diseases that the world faces, nutrition is right at the heart of them. Agricultural production and the production of food is very directly and squarely related to a change in climate. And so, all of the ways in which climate change is leading to disruptions and new directions in the world's food systems has a very intimate and direct impact on population health. Those relationships are one that we're still understanding in nuanced ways, but the linkages are really clear. It's just part of helping the, the world being a better place, not only for uh, people living in the U.S., but also the world.